I am just the season. It's very exciting. Tell us all about your new character. Okay, I play Cat, um, and uh, she is basically an amped up quick study. So I can learn anything instantly with instant muscle memory. Um, and uh, the downside is, is that I have, um, they refer to it as like mental TiVo. So my memory drops off as time goes on. But I remember my abilities. Like my abilities come back if the situation arises, but but I don't remember where I learned them or, or who I know or what's happened in my life. And so it makes for very interesting situations <laughs> because people are like, hey, and I'm like, hey, yeah. so, so it's fun. It's really fun. And I, I meet um, Bill um, at an underground kind of alpha fight club thing. So, and we kind of bond and I, I may or may not beat him at fighting. It's just a little teaser there. Does it make her kind of like a lethal weapon because she can mimic anything? I mean, yeah, it could. It could if you chose to use it in that in that way. Um, you know, I, I don't have like super strength or anything like that. But um, because I can learn something so quickly, um, yeah, they could train me in anything and then send me into the situation, and I'd be an expert at it. So it's it's a pretty cool little toy to have around. Mm -hmm. Are you the team. Become, like their secret weapon on their team now? Yeah, it kind of looks that way. I mean, this season's definitely been um, um, me acclimating to the team and them kind of getting to know me and trusting me and things like that. Um, because with somebody that doesn't have any memory, you know, you don't know, leaves the door open for where did she come from because I don't remember. So that's kind of, it's an interesting thing to deal with for the team but um, Rosen finds her very fascinating and so we're trying to figure out how to recover her memory and things like that so um, yeah I think next next season should be knock on wood um, should be really good and and they'll be able to expand the use of the character which would be great so. what's it like to step into a show they've had you know two years under their belt already and what's it like to step in these guys are a well-oiled machine by now yeah I mean there this is the, I came in on the second season so they had the whole first season. It's, you know, I, it could be a very intimidating situation if the cast was not like this cast. Um, but they were so welcoming immediately and so excited about the character. And um, I, by, by my day two, I felt at home. And uh, the first people I worked with, I think, was mostly um, Malik was my first episode and we got really close right away and uh, it's just it's just supportive they're like what can I do to help you um, and and we all kind of have a similar kind of vibe as far as getting along and making it go right and so it, it worked out great not to give too much away but do do how do they find you Cause it always seems like they find somebody when they first bring them into the alpha situation there's always some, some story that's associated with I know I know um, well, the, Bill, uh, Malik's character, uh, and Warren actually, stumble upon this fight club that Alpha's, oh, right. <laughs> and, um, and I'm there, and, uh, you know, it's a, it's a funny little intro because there's no real reason why they, they, they should, like, necessarily take a shine to her, but Bill really just takes a shine to Kat. And um, and the kind of like in a fatherly way, you know, it's just kind of like I'm gonna I'm gonna help you, and then kind of introduces me to Rosen, and Rosen, the memory thing is just really fascinating um, to Rosen. I think the contrast of like being able to learn something, you know, learn so quickly, but then have your memory have a memory problem is a weird contrast. So I think he just finds it really fascinating. He's like, you know, we're gonna help you out. So it's it was a cool little. Cool little intro. The fight club's awesome. You, know, you have all these alphas using their abilities to fight. It's pretty cool. You know, losing your memory. How did you work to uh, show or demonstrate that? You know, uh, as you're literally being erased each time. You mean on the show? Well, you know, I think uh, 
for Kat, the way that she's kind of survived is that she just it lives a very, she's lived a very gypsy lifestyle. So memory, she doesn't really need to remember, she just kind of floats around. Um, now though, that she's part of this team, situations start to arise where forgetting becomes a problem. You know, she's actually, I think for the first time, in a situation where she wants to remember people. You know, she wants to remember who these people are because she likes them so much. So, um, so they just keep bringing up situations where it's, she's kind of like, you know, it's bumming me out that I don't know, are we, like, I'll be the war and are we good friends? Do we talk about this stuff? You know, it's that kind of thing. So, um, they're, they're working it into the script with things from my past coming up and, and little situations where it arises where it's, it's, it's an issue. For sure. What do you love most about portraying this character? Oh, um, learning the new skills each week. I mean, each week she's learning something, so I take that opportunity to kind of learn about it. And, you know, my second episode, I was learning how to assemble a carburetor. You know, just like I get to learn something new each time, so that's really cool. How's the, the season going so far? Well, what can we expect tone-wise? Tone-wise, um, it's a pretty epic season. The scope of it is very big, um, and uh, some pretty heavy... Um, the team has to deal with some pretty heavy stuff, so it's an interesting, it's definitely a season of the test, a testing of the friendships, a testing of the loyalty of the team, um, and uh, so you can expect a lot of, it's just, it's, it can, it can, it's a little dark, um, but it's, I think the scope of the stunts and everything um, is much bigger, so it's just, it's, epic is a really good word to use to describe season two. Thank you. Great, thank you. Yeah.